welcome to my channel. As you can see, I've cleaned up the workspace very nicely for you because we have something special. Uh, some of you have requested that I give an instructional video on how to make this awesome, cheap ghetto humidifier. Um, so this video is just going to be detailing how I made this and um, how you can go about making your own. As you can see, it has a beautiful sleek design, nice plastic sturdy bucket, and I think it's a piece of wonderful engineering. So let's get right to it. Um, so the parts you're going to need for this are just an ordinary CPU fan, so you can just salvage that from any old computer. You're going to need, obviously, a plastic tub. You're going to need some other kind of exhaust pipe, so just any old pipe will do. Uh, if we look inside here... Um, so that's the heart of the machine there. So that's an ultrasonic mist maker, which you can buy very cheap. It's like five five pounds on AliExpress. Um, and basically what's happening there is the ultrasonic module is being suspended by a very high-tech flotation device. Um, so I've just cut out a piece of polystyrene and suspended the thing because the ultrasonic mister needs to be at a certain level below the water so it needs to be about so deep maybe two to three centimeters below the water um, and it needs to stay at that level to produce the maximum amount of mist so that's why it's just as you can see suspended there maintaining maybe well, I'd say one to two centimeters below the water it's just held together by some um, some garden wire. So as you fill it up, the flotation device will make it float to the top. Um, and obviously as the water depletes, it will follow the level of the water. Um, what else will you need? You will need... Now... There's a bunch of wiring and stuff in there. Now don't get too discouraged. I've drawn out the circuitry there. So you do need a little bit of electronics experience, probably not too much, um, to make this work. So what you need is one of these. So this is a DHT11 um, temperature and humidity sensor, so this is very cheap, it should be less than a pound. Um, you're going to need some jumper wires, obviously. You're going to need an Arduino, you can use any Arduino. So here I have an Arduino Nano, but you can um, quite easily replace it with the Uno, which I have somewhere lying around. Um, what else will you need? You're going to need relays. Um, specifically, you're going to need two of them. Um, let's have a look. We've got some relays in there. So there are the relays. Let me see if I can find... Oh, there we go. So there's what the relay looks like. Let me get a focus on that. Yeah. Just any 5 volt relay will do. Um, and that's pretty much it really. So, how it works. Um, basically, the ultrasonic um, mist module. So that thing, the only requirement here is that it needs a 24 volt power supply, DC. Um, so I'm lucky enough to scrounge old, um, so this is an old uh, laptop 
power supply and if you look in the output it says 24 volts so that's perfect uh, I think you need generally more than an amp I think one and a half amps it's, it works fine for me but um, I, I would say then one and a half amps or more um, so you need that and that's probably the, the most costly thing in this whole thing if you can't get one of these now there is a workaround so you could take an old computer power supply and scavenge the PSU from it and if you hook up the blue and the yellow um, so the yellow is plus 12 volts and the blue is minus 12 volts so when you combine them in a circuit um, they form 24 volts and I've successfully actually powered this thing with this but um, this is a more elegant solution if you will uh, so let's get right to the diagram now don't be put off by all this crazy wiring it, it is a bit crazy but when you actually see the circuit diagram it's not too bad so let's have a look so everything like I said, everything is powered by 5 volts, um, which you can obtain using any um, any sort of phone charger. If you just uh, hack one of the USB cables, that provides you 5 volts. Um, so the fan, the Arduino, the relays, uh, and the um, temperature and humidity sensor are all powered by 5 volts so um, you know you can simply just cut one of the USB cables and that's red is the positive so plus 5 volts and the black is the ground so those will be those two um, and then the 24 volts like I said is for this so let's see so 5 volts we connect to the fan and uh, the other lead we collect, connect to the relay and through the relay it must go to ground now if I bring out the relay uh, as you can see here let's see get some more lighting on that you'll see the relay comes with three three things is NO, COM and NC so COM is just common NO means uh, normally open and NC is normally closed. So you need to use COM and normally closed. So those would be those two here. Because you want uh, the relay to the fan to be normally closed and only activate when the Arduino sends the signal for it to activate. So you would go and you would wire something like that. So can you see that? Ooh, there we go. Calm and normally closed. Um, so as you can see, the fan is powered 5 volts. So it jumps over this wire. So it's connected from there into the fan and then the other wire from the fan must go into either the normally closed or the um, the com and then the other wire must come out of one of those other ones and connect to ground um, then so the relay so that's that's the business end of the relay on the other end of the relay you've got As you will see, man, focus is a, being a little pain. Let's put it in the light. There, can you see that? So, there's three pins, VCC, ground, and in. So VCC connects to your 5 volts. Ground connects to the ground and in, sometimes it's S for signal or whatever, 
this must connect to your Arduino. So over here I have it on pin. Let's follow the drawing. Pin D4 on the Arduino. Uh, then for the humidity sen temperature and humidity sensor, where was that thing? Uh, here it is. So you'll see a common theme again. So let's get that in the light. So you see S is for signal. The minus is for negative or ground, and then the middle terminal is for uh, VCC or plus five volts. So once again. You've got VCC, which goes to 5 volts, the ground goes to the ground, and the signal now goes to pin D2 on the Arduino. So the Arduino is taking the signal from this, it's doing its magic, and then controlling the relays to open the fan or the humidifier. Uh, lastly, you need to hook up the humidifier. So this goes, you have your 24 volt power supply, so one lead goes into the ultrasonic mist maker. The other lead will go into one of the, either the normally closed or the common on the relay, and then the other wire must then come back into the ultrasonic maker. Um, so that's basically the wiring diagram. So, uh, can't focus on that. There we go. And that's it, really. All right, so the next bit that's interesting and relevant to this project is the Arduino code. So this is... Um, once you've wired everything up correctly, you then need to upload this into your Arduino. Um, and it's pretty basic, so you define your pins. Uh, 2, 3 and 4 are the temperature humidity sensor, the fan and the mister, so the relays for these two. And um, you then define the pins, so obviously the temperature and humidity type is uh, it's an input the other two which are controlling the relays they are outputs as you can see there and uh, you start them off in the low so basically they are off until they need to be switched on then you s your loop so this is the loop that's running in your program uh, you obtain the humidity and the temperature in these variables here H and T and this little statement here just says that um, if it's not taken a successful reading it will just say failed to read from the sensor so don't worry about that and then this little bit over here um, just states that if the humidity drops below, say, 60% in my case, um, switch the fan on, switch the mister on, and run it for a delay of 20,000. So this is 20,000 milliseconds, or just 20 seconds. Uh, and then switch the mister off, and continue running the fan for another 2 seconds, and then switch the fan off. Um, the reason why you want to do this is to just evacuate all the the mist that's in, you know stored inside there. So otherwise, you will eventually corrode your your fan if you don't do that. And then the next bit of the code over here, this this part is basically just um, taking the values and printing them to the screen, so you can actually check. Um, what's happening. So if I press Control shift and M all together, Control shift m it brings up the monitor and you can see here 
what's happening. It's reading the humidity and the temperature and basically any time that that humidity drops below 60% it's going to activate the humidifier for 20 seconds as was uh, as was written in there so I don't know if it's going to do it now it's kind of hovering on 60 but as soon as that the sensor drops below 60% it's going to activate the humidifier um, so that's all there is to it guys um, yeah don't be discouraged by the wiring um, over here you can see uh, if I switch the light back on uh, uh, you can see the, the wiring diagram if you just follow this you'll be okay um, one other thing to mention is you really want to use deionized or distilled water in here otherwise you're going to damage your ultrasonic mister and you're going to get li uh, lime scale all over your walls and floors and plants and whatever so you want to use nice clean water but the problem I found is actually with uh, deionized water is that the conductivity is so low that the so the ultrasonic mister I don't know if you can see that let me pull that thing out um, uh, so you see in the where the little green thing is tied around the bottom of the image so there's like a little metallic circle with a green thing around it um, so that's a uh, basically just checks that the humidifier is in water otherwise it won't activate at all um, you know the fan and everything will still work because you're providing power but that thing has its like little safety switch to switch off when the water level drops which is a nice feature but I found with deionized water um, because the water is so pure it actually doesn't activate that which works on a conductivity principle so I had to add like the tiniest bit of um, tap water in here I sort of just kept adding until the machine started um, fogging um, just just enough to raise the conductivity you could probably try I don't know putting salt or whatever in there to just um, increase that conductivity and that's it really so it doesn't look pretty it's a bit of a ghetto job but it, it does you know it's fit for purpose and it does what it's meant to do and it's not that hard and I think anyone will this so if you really want to um, make it easy you don't need the Arduino you don't need all you need is the ultrasonic mist maker and this thing and the power supply and you can obviously switch it on or off as you like but I like to sort of automate it and have it only activate when when needed okay I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions just let me know and I'll try my best to answer it cheers